Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to be talking about good old connection-based matchmaking. Now, back on Tuesday of last week, Bungie went ahead and released a hotfix. Now, what this hotfix was supposed to do was take all the connections in Crucible across all playlists and make them really good, along with putting the damage referee in all the playlists. Now, did they do it? Because when Bungie seems to release an update, they seem to mess something up. But this time, instead of getting massive disappointment that I can complain about on Twitter, I got probably one of the best updates in a long time. It did what they said it was going to do, and it did it well. It blew it out of the water. And this is what I expect from a developer like Bundy. I expect success. I expect results. I don't expect failure after failure after failure after failure. <laughs> So instead of complaining on Twitter, I was very happy on Twitter. And basically, here's here's how it went for me. I was waiting for the hotfix. Me and my buddy, we uh, downloaded it, went to a rumble, and I was blown away. I was like, no, this isn't real. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I saw this red bar, and he was teleporting around, but he couldn't attack me. And any any bullet I landed into him hurt him and he died real easily and he couldn't do anything about it and I was like no no this is this is a coincidence let's let's uh let's, let's do a few more games and as the games went on I would just realized man Bungie really did it they really did it now let's talk about the last word here for a second the last word anyone who used the last word probably knows it is a blank machine it likes to blank a lot like your crosshairs could be right on somebody it will blank all the time because it's a gun that's heavily based on connection how well it performs it could be incredibly overpowered or the worst gun in the game depending on your connection or your luck with getting those hip fire headshots but that's a different story basically when I was using the last word now every time before this update I would hit like two out of eight they the crosshairs could be on the do the whole time two out of eight it would hit the others would disappear into the void I could be close far I could be ADSing, hip firing, that didn't matter, didn't matter. They would blank all the time, and I was basically using a gun that other people were using just to have a chance at winning gunfights. Because they could have a chance of beating me if I use another weapon, and I could have a chance of beating them if they're using a different weapon. It's it's weird. But when this update hit, like wherever like when I shot at somebody, the bullets would hit, and they'd hit consistently. Consistently. Last word. Consistent. What? No, no, no. Now you can see why I didn't believe it at first. I thought I was dreaming. I really did. The last word hit. Unless I really noticeably missed, the last word was hitting and it was doing well and I loved it. I love a gun that works and there's only like three guns. Maybe. Maybe. Really only scout rifles like hit consistently. <laughs> but after this update, even all the hand cannons that, you know, got nerfed into the ground, they were hitting consistently. Even Hawkmoon. Hawkmoon got nerfed into the ground. It was still hitting. It was doing well. I was really happy with it. Now, don't get me wrong. It still needs a buff. It needs its range back. Without a doubt. Maybe even give it send it. I don't know. Just do something to it. But it was hitting. Hand cannons were hitting. And hand cannons are definitely my favorite weapon class. So it's nice to see that my skill is rewarded by my bullets actually hitting the person. I didn't use Thorn. Don't know if that was hitting. <laughs> Thorn normally hits, though. Now, as far as secondary weapons go, uh, I used fusion rifles a little. I only really got three kills with one because I had three bolts, but hey, uh, I got three kills with three bolts, so maybe that's something. I haven't really tested those too, too much. Not a big fusion rifle fan, but a thing I am a fan of is shotguns, and ever since they nerfed them, they have been really inconsistent. Like, I don't know. I know a few people have noticed. don't know if everyone's noticed. But there's probably a reason everyone went to snipers. Because they nerfed shotguns into inconsistency. But, basically, you could be in somebody's face. And it'll do 90%. Or it could do 10%. Uh, depending on the connection, a shotgun could do really good or really bad. Just like the last word. And when this update hit, I was one-hitting them from, like, decent ranges. Like, where I think a... A heavy hitter shotgun like the Matador or the Party Crasher should be able to kill from in one hit. And I was definitely really happy about it. It opened up two of my most favorite play styles, and that's skating around with a Titan and Shade Step 
shotgunning. I know, horrible things, right? Uh, gross. You guys must hate it. Well, I hate people who, hidden, who uh, hide in the back of the map, heart scoping with a sniper rifle. <laughs> but anyway, mainly I'd only been using my warlock in sniping. That's really all I had been doing prior to this update, and now I could do basically anything I want, and I'm very happy about it. But here's the thing, here's the problem. Here's the problem with the game. The connection-based matchmaking, it felt really good at the start, but then it started feeling really, really bad. Now, why is this? Did they mess with it? Did they turn it off? Did they... What did they do? What did they do? I, they didn't really... At first, I thought, like, wow, you took it away again, and I was about to be done with the game, but then I played a little bit more, and I realized, wait a second... Wait a second, no. No, this isn't their fault. Not entirely, at least. This isn't their fault. Basically, you you guys have probably noticed. You guys are probably doing it. People are playing other games. Like, Division came out. People are playing that thing. For whatever reason. I'm not going to get into that. But <laughs> um, Basically, the population of Destiny, it's really low. It's horribly low. It's so low, in fact, that... Even though there is really good connection based matchmaking, it doesn't matter because there's so few players that you'll still get people from other countries sometimes. Like almost every game I have some dude in Spain teleporting around and I can't kill him and he's beating me in gunfights and I should be winning. And if I go into 3v3, oh man if I go into 3v3, I was in a skirmish where everybody in the lobby was in a different country. There was me in the U.S., some dude in the U.K., some dude in Norway, Germany, France, and then I don't know what the sixth guy was in, but I think I think he may have been in one of our country, countries. One of our countries. But yeah, basically, if you've been playing Destiny and you've noticed that the connection-based matchmaking has gone down, it is not entirely Bungie's fault. It is their fault the population is so low, but it's nothing that's wrong with their netcode. They did a really good job and make it really good. The problem is they can't really take advantage of it when they have to pull people from other countries in. Like, you could be sitting there waiting for a game for 10 minutes and eventually they have to be like, okay, screw it. We have to put this guy from another country into this game. It's, you know, the only way. And uh, that kind of sucks to know that the game finally works pretty well outside of, like, horrible balance flaws like Viking Funeral still being in the game. But it really sucks to know that the game works and... Nobody's playing it now, because we haven't been given much of a reason to. That that update is, what, coming out in maybe April? I think that's what I heard a Bungie guy say on a podcast. Like, April? They're aiming for April? But, yeah, like, we need content, obviously, but I think if they just padded this game more than three times, or more than, like, once every three months, then people would play it a little bit more. Like, people come back to see what the updates are doing. They really do. So, yeah. Basically, connection-based matchmaking is here. It's good. But they can't take advantage of it. And hopefully the population will rise. So it can be taken advantage of. Because Crucible is really fun when it works. It has what it needs to to work now. But, uh Population. Anyway, I'm going to stop reiterating. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to let you guys know that if you've been playing Crucible and you noticed Connection starting to suck again, it is because the population sucks. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to stop taking up your time, and I'm going to head out. I want to thank you all for watching. I very much appreciate it, and I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.